I'd like you to raise your hand when you hear the beep. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start in your right ear. I wanted to get involved with the Healthy Hearing Program because I thought it'd be a wonderful opportunity to work as a volunteer, learn more about audiology and this interesting population. Illinois State University stresses volunteer work and being involved with the community and I think the Special Olympics here is congruent with that where we get students from different programs, different schools. The Special Olympics Illinois Summer Games is the um, largest sporting event for Special Olympics held here on um, ISU's campus and it's um, sort of the culminating event from our spring games where they uh, qualify in their local areas. Illinois State University led me to Special Olympics from when I was working here and the two of them are very closely tied together in my heart. Student involvement is something that's really important to me at Special Olympics Healthy Hearing so I have students do a mix of mentoring and screening and so I have my doctor of audiology students do mentoring where they teach undergraduates and speech language pathology students how to do the screenings and that gives them a chance to learn how to supervise and, and uh, work with students teaching them how to do things and then the undergraduate students learn how to do the screenings, um, look in people's ears, do hearing tests, in just a day learn as much as they would in a whole semester of um, being trained how to do hearing screenings. Dr. Lindsay Bondurant is uh, very much involved in the local community and volunteering um, and just being a leader and I look up to her and I've learned a ton from being around her. I've known Ryan since he was an undergraduate student here at ISU and uh, he was in an audiology class of mine and very passionate about audiology and helping people. He's just um, such, a, such a sincere and enthusiastic person. He recently applied for a grant through the National Student Academy of Audiology and so got a small grant to help us pay for supplies and giveaways for the athletes. It was a small grant but it was enough for us to purchase banners and get some t-shirts and some of the, the things that we needed to make sure that the healthy hearing screening was successful. At all of our events we try to offer different programs for athletes so it's not just about the sports because we want to talk about the whole health of the athlete. Having an opportunity here at Special Olympics, they're already here, we can reach out, come on down while you're, while you're doing your sporting events, come on down in between, they're already here and so um, it's a, we make it a fun thing and then we find that about one in four athletes doesn't pass the screening and so it tells us there's a really large population of people with intellectual disabilities who have problems that are going undiagnosed. The uh, population of people with intellectual disabilities tends to be underserved as far as in the health spheres um, just because they either don't you know have the money or in the past they haven't had insurance or Medicare doesn't cover all of the needs that they have and with opening eyes and with healthy hearing the really good thing about it is they can actually get free glasses or hearing aids if they need those. Working with the athletes is amazing. They have a lot of energy and excitement. They're thrilled to be here. Uh, I get energy just from being around them and I love it. It's my favorite time of the year.